Hey, what's up guys, Harry here. And today I'm gonna to talk about should Uber deactivate drivers who are asking for passengers destination, right? So as you guys know, there are a whole bunch of reasons you can be deactivated as an Uber driver. Some of the more common ones are things like low ratings or you know maybe driving while intoxicated, that's sort of obvious, don't do that. Um, but there's also a whole host of things that Uber sort of just has discretion to deactivate you for if they kind of just find they don't like it. Some of them are are obvious, some are not so obvious. And one of the things that I've sort of been noticing this kind of alarming trend where a lot of Uber drivers, maybe not a lot, some Uber drivers are calling passengers and actually asking where they're going, right? So as you guys know, I take dozens of rides as a passenger to talk to drivers, see what the experience is like from that point of view, in addition to doing rides myself. And I think this is a pretty rare situation, but it definitely happens, right? Airports are the one big area where I think it happens because drivers obviously don't like doing short rides in those situations, um, you know, which is understandable, but it's also happened to me as a passenger during the middle of the day in downtown Long Beach. And I think the reason why, uh, you know, I wanted to create this video is because I've been noticing it more and more, especially since I've been traveling a lot over the past few months at these airports, at LAX, in San Diego, I've had this happen to me more than a few times. And some drivers are super obvious about this. They'll just call you and say, hey, where are you going? <laughs> Other drivers are a little more slick though, and they might call you and say, hey, I'm confirming your address, right? We're headed to Santa Monica, right? And I might, as a passenger, say, huh, I'm not going to Santa Monica. I'm going the complete opposite direction. I'm headed downtown. And that's how the driver finds out where you're going without, you know, overtly asking, hey, where are you headed? So some of these drivers are at least I have to give them credit for being slick about it. I don't necessarily agree with it, but depending on what you say, right, because they are typically only, you know, and it's not because of they want to be headed in a certain direction. They're really looking for those long rides, right? And they'll actually cancel on you, which creates a pretty terrible experience, as you can imagine, for the Uber passenger. And, you know, personally, so I've had this happen to me a few times as a passenger, I'm not really a snitch though, I'm not gonna snitch them out to Uber, but uh, you know, I do as a passenger, it kind of sucks having it happen to you, right? And I mean, I think maybe in the future, I'll just say, hey, uh, you're gonna have to, you'll find out when you come pick me up, that might be kind of a dick thing to say, but <laughs> that might be the best solution if you're a passenger. And the real question though that I wanna talk about is should drivers be doing this? Should drivers be calling passengers and asking where they're headed? So for me, I say no, this is not something that I would do. And honestly, I think drivers that are doing this probably should be deactivated for doing it. I'm all about finding ways to earn more money, to sort of hack the system, but this sort of crosses the line for me. I mean, it's just so obvious, you're just calling up, you're not using any hack or you're not taking advantage of the sort of guidelines that Uber has set forth. I mean, there are some reasons to do this and I totally get it, right? Um, if you're sitting there waiting for an airport ride, it obviously sucks to have a really short ride, but every driver gets those short rides, right? You're not being singled out. So that's sort of where why I have a problem with it, right? If you have a problem with it, maybe you shouldn't be doing airport rides or maybe try to take it up with Uber. Um, and you know, obviously not everything is perfect, but I do think that this strategy sort of, you know, I hesitate to even call it a strategy, but this goes a little too far for me. You know, I've talked, I've done videos in the past about the cancellation strategy and taking advantage of, you know, upfront pricing or whatever it might be. But those, I think, are all sort of working within the framework that Uber has set forth. I mean, especially now with Uber, uh, you know, as a driver, you have a destination filter. You can't use it at the airport, for example. But, um, you know, some drivers are still calling and asking for the destination and other times, hey, maybe you should be using the destination destination filter in that scenario. So, I mean, and, you know, frankly, one of the things that I think when I first heard about this, or when it first happened to me, what it really made, you know, put in my head was, man, this is exactly what taxis used to do. And passengers hated this about taxis, right? Because taxis would sit there waiting for a little ride for a long time. And then if you weren't going the direction, or if you weren't going far enough, they wouldn't come get you, or they would say they're going to come get you and then take a better fare along the way, which creates a horrible user horrible passenger experience and I do think each driver, each Uber driver has a small, even if it's really small responsibility to kind of preserve that rideshare name. I mean, passengers love this service. The reason why you have a job right now is because of Uber and because they're so much better than taxis. So, I mean, I think there are features that Uber could definitely build to solve this problem, you know, paying drivers more for short rides or raising the minimum fare. And I think that those are definitely valid complaints, but at the same time, there's always gonna be those people who sort of cheat and scam the system 
system. For me, this is one of those things that I don't agree with. Um, you know, I haven't really heard of Uber actually deactivating a lot of drivers for this, for how prevalent it is. And like I said, it's not happening on every single ride or anything like that, but it definitely happens. If you're sort of a frequent Uber passenger, you it's probably happened to you at least once or twice, especially around airports, especially if you're traveling. And like I said, it does create a pretty terrible passenger experience. And I can only imagine that if or when Uber does find out, if a passenger sort of reports you to Uber, you can imagine that they're not going to be happy with it. And it's probably a reason we're going to see going forward that some drivers are getting deactivated. So I don't think this is super widespread, but it's not something that I recommend or agree with. So I'd love to know uh, your take on this. If you've had this happen or if you've seen other drivers do this, does this cross the line for you? Um, are you okay with this strategy or do you think it's going too far? Love to hear from you. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Look forward to talking soon. Take care.